two other people who supply the moniker. Now, the big mystery this evening is whether our lovely young lady will choose one of the two of the three BG brothers or our Olympic gold medal winner. Let's meet our outstanding panel of bachelors right now. And here they are. Good luck, gentlemen. Well, the Bee Gees are one of the world's top groups with three million selling records to their credit. They were, their latest UK release, by the way, is I've Got to Get a Message to You, which was written by Bachelor Number One and his two brothers. Here's the Bee Gees, Morris Gibb. Morris, welcome to the show. Good luck. A member of the Santa Clara Swim Club, the world's greatest incubator of Olympic swimmers, Bachelor Number Three has only been beaten once in the 200 meter freestyle. During the Tokyo Olympics of 1964, he won four gold medals for the United States and broke the world's record for freestyle swimming. In the Olympic trials held in Los Angeles in September, he broke his own freestyle record, and he'll be competing again next week in Mexico City. We're delighted to welcome to the dating game, Don Schoenberg. Bachelor number three is another member of that renowned musical family. Upon completing their present American tour, they'll return to England to make a feature motion picture. Meanwhile, we have the pleasure of welcoming to the dating game Morris Gibbs' twin brother, Robin Gibbs. Robin, good luck to you. And there is what I term a star-laden panel for game number two. Now, in order to keep our young lady from hearing the introductions of our three gentlemen, we've been keeping her isolated offstage in a soundproof room. May we introduce her to you and you right now. She's a student majoring in theater arts, and she's a sales girl at one of Los Angeles' larger department stores. Music is an integral part of her active life, and she's taking jazz lessons to enlarge that interest. From La Habra, California, may we welcome Debbie Chenoweth. Hi, Debbie. You ready? Okay. Debbie, first of all, you know how to play the game, right? You ask the questions from the answers. You decide which one you're going to select as your date. You have your questions all set? Yeah. Then we'll start with a hello and see how they sound over there. Bachelor number one, would you please say good afternoon to Debbie, please? Hello, Debbie. Uh, good evening, rather. Number two, would you say good evening? Good evening, Debbie. Thank you. And number three? Uh, good evening, Debbie. Okay, we are on the evening. And Debbie, if you would please now have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Fellas, do your best. The contest is on. Good luck. Okay, bachelor number one. What do you like best about the dark? Uh, well, I love gathering lilacs in an old brown shoe, basically, in the dark. Uh, number two, what do you like best about the dark? I think I like the stars and the moon. Okay. Uh, Bachelor number three, if you came over to my house and my mother was playing cards with a tomato and my father was talking on a banana and I was wrestling with a grapefruit, what would you do to fit into the family? I'd join in. <laughs> with what? What would you do to join in? Well, if I came over and saw a family like that, I think you could get away with anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay, bachelor number one, if on our first date you kissed me and I turned out into a flower, what kind of flower would I be and what would you do with me? Probably be a rose and I'd walk to you. Oh. <laughs> You'd be a rose and walk you. Oh, okay. Uh, bachelor number three, what kind of flower would I be? What kind of flower would you be? Yes. Well, there's all kinds of flowers. Then again, by the sound of your voice, I would say um, it's a daffodil. Daffodil, definitely a daffodil. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just okay. my experience. <laughs> uh, bachelor number two, what part of a car are you most like? I like the horn. Because <laughs> I'm probably noisy. Why? Why are you most like a horn? I think because I'm, I'm fairly noisy and obnoxious at times. Okay. Bachelor number one, if you came to pick me up on our date and my father came to greet you in a suit and said that I was ill and he was going to take my place, what would you do? Smash his face in. <laughs> uh, number three, what would you do? Well, as a gentleman, I think I would take legal um, precautions because you know, not one can be violent in such a case as this. I mean, I wouldn't go around smashing your dad up. But, uh, he'd, he'd obviously, you know, um, take action himself, so I'd have to watch out. I think I'd see a solicitor first and then hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, what are you going to do if I zap you? Well, that's not very nice, is it? No. <laughs> I'd go home, I think. <laughs> Number two, what would you do if I zapped you? Well, I'd try and zonk you back. Uh, <laughs> okay. Number three, I love soft things, so say the softest thing that you can think of to me right now. Uh, 
and the softest thing I can think of. And let me see, uh, a cushion. C U S H I O N. Uh, number one, what's the softest thing you can think of right now? Butter. Water? Butter. Butter. B U T T E R. Welcome back to the Dating Game, and Debbie, your time is up. Now, I know you've been puzzling over this problem heavily here for 60 seconds, while the rest of the world was watching that beautiful commercial. Now, it's up to you to make up your mind at this moment. Which one will it be? Will it be Bachelor number one, Bachelor number two, or Bachelor number three? Debbie, which one gets the date? Bachelor number one. Number one. All right. Congratulations to Bachelor number one. Any particular reason why you selected him, Debbie? You like the way he said butter? <laughs> all right, now we're going to meet the other gentleman first before we meet bachelor number one. First of all, let's meet bachelor number three. Now, I know you enjoy music, right? Right. Well, bachelor number three is a member of one of the hottest recording groups in the business today. That's right. Uh, he is uh, going on an American tour with the group right now, then back to England to make another movie. He is one of the members of the Bee Gees, Mr. Robin Gibbs. Robin, come on and say hello to Debbie, if you would. Robin, come on over here. Nice job. You were defeated admirably by a fine number one. We'll meet him in a moment. First number two now. You didn't select him, Debbie. He is one of the finest athletes ever produced in the United States. In the Olympics in 1964, he won four gold medals for the United States in swimming. He's perhaps the greatest freestyler in the world today, Mr. Don Scholander. Don, come on and say hello to Debbie, if you would. Thank you for a fine game, and good luck next week at Mexico City. Well, there's a big, wide world out there to photograph, gentlemen, and for each of you, here is the fabulous Fujika Instant Load Pocket Size Movie Camera. It's fully automatic. Just aim and shoot. Live it up, then live it over with a full-color, perfect show of your travels with this Fujika Single 8 Movie Camera. And again, our thanks for playing the game. Thank you. Are you ready? All right, let me tell you something about the gentleman you did select. Debbie, this gentleman has, is also a member of a very famous group. As a matter of fact, they have a hit record going right now, you may have heard, called I've Got a Message for You. He started in Sydney, Australia. This is Robin Gibbs' brother, Morris Gibb of the Bee Gees. Morris, come on and say hello, please, to Debbie. Congratulations, Morris. Well, once upon a time, Debbie, a poor but honest farmer was digging in his fields in the hot sun when suddenly he uncovered an unusual rock. And I picked it up, and later, when he washed it, he noticed there was something very special about it. And there's something just as special about your dream date with Mars. Because you're going to the land where that and many other such valuable rocks are found. You're going to the diamond mines of Johannesburg, South Africa. The Republic of South Africa covers an area of almost 500,000 miles, but your dream date will take you to three of the most outstanding attractions in that land of excitement, color, and continuing drama. As guests of the South African Tourist Corporation with headquarters in New York and Beverly Hills, you and Morris and your dating game chaperone will visit Johannesburg, the commercial capital of South Africa, where any activity you can name takes place. And there's a nightlife, too, that just won't quit. You'll go to the Jacaranda City, to Pretoria, with its superb climate, with its broad avenues lined with shops, with show places. And you'd better have your cameras ready, too, because you're going to visit Kruger National Park, one of the oldest and finest game sanctuaries on the continent. The comforts, the delights of modern living, the excitement of the primitive land that is South Africa. Yours to enjoy on your dream date to Johannesburg. Transportation to South Africa arranged by TWA. The Algen Airline, whose luxurious Skystream jets fly coast to coast in the USA and across the Atlantic to Europe, Africa, and Asia. A little short of time, a second, congratulations on the Instagram.